So we want to talk a little bit about V-curve theory. V-curve theory is setting up a critical machine on your line. In most cases, it's a filler, but there are other instances where it can be a different machine. The critical machine is kind of your bottleneck on the line, and it's a machine you want to keep running at maximum efficiency in order to be able to get the best efficiency out of your lines. In this case, we've drawn the beer line. The filler will be the critical machine set up at 650 bottles a minute. Upstream from that, we'll set the bottle rinser at 10% faster than the filler, 715 bottles a minute, and then we'll set the depalletizer 20% faster at 780 bottles a minute. The idea upstream of the critical machine is to store as much product as possible so that if there's an, a hiccup in the upstream machine, the, the critical machine keeps running and once the problem is fixed, the bottles catch back up and keep that machine running 100% of the time if at all possible. Downstream from the machine, we basically do the same thing. The pasteurizer is going to be set up at 10% over, 715 bottles a minute. We set the labeler up at 15% over speed, which is 748 bottles a minute. Then we'll set up the case packer at 20% over the filler speed. That's 780 bottles a minute. And lastly, we set the case palletizer up at 30% over, 845 bottles a minute. What this gives you the ability to do is set up accumulators between these machines so that if a downstream machine goes down, we accumulate the, we accumulate the containers and then we absorb that accumulation back into the line as quickly as possible. Again, keeping that filler running 100% of the time if we can. So if you want to know more about V-curve theory or other bottling design concepts, Join us at PowerENG.com.